Exit Series came about as a way to celebrate New Jersey and New Jersey's culture and heritage and, you know, some of the ingredients that are produced here. Uh, you know, there's a lot of jokes about New Jersey and, and uh, we wanted to kind of celebrate the good stuff. So we came up with the idea of the Exit Series to kind of follow New Jersey along that great uh, highway of ours. I first heard about it two years ago when Gene was just starting to think about it. Like, genius. It's genius. You, you know, you take something that is the, the very core of the, of the classic joke on Jersey. Oh, you're from Jersey? What exit? The first one we did was Exit 4. Uh, this just won a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival. It's a Belgian style and it's the exit we're at. Now we're starting with using our first actual New Jersey ingredient, uh, which is going to be Delaware Bay oysters. So we're going to produce Exit 1, which is right at the Delaware Memorial Bridge and the Delaware Bay. And we're going to use uh, uh, oysters that were harvested uh, sustainably from the bay. We went down, we picked them up right from the packing house, came back to the brewery and used them in the brew. And what we're doing is actually putting the entire oyster in a, in a mesh bag and putting it in the boil for about 10 or 15 minutes. And what that does is you extract some of the minerals from the oyster and from the shell and gives the beer a really nice dryness. We're brewing a stout, a, a rich English style stout, which will kind of offset, there's some sweetness in that, which will offset the dryness. What's oyster stout? Is it, is it a stout that's made with oysters or is it just a stout that is suggested as a, well, like a serving suggestion? Here, this is an oyster stout. It's a stout that's good with oysters. Well, it might be one, might be other, could, uh, could be both. Um, I, I do think stout and oysters is a, is a good combination, but there, on the other hand, there have been we can certifiably stouts made with oysters as well. Uh, it's a real common style, or it was a real common style in uh, England a couple of hundred years ago. Oysters and beer either served together or brewed together. Uh, was relatively common and then it kind of slowly faded away so we're trying to resurrect that and resurrect something that was a, a classic beer style but also using you know the New Jersey ingredient and, and uh, celebrating you know the rich history at one time New Jersey uh, there used to be at this one packing house they had three railroad lines and every day they would be filled with trains they would fill them up with oysters and ship them all over the country all out of the Delaware Bay. Oysters have always been part of the economy of the Bay Shore. Uh, the first half of the 20th century Delaware Bay supplied most of the major markets from Philadelphia to New York. Um, it was one of the uh, major economic engines in the state of New Jersey. Um, there are estimates that upwards of maybe 200 boats would be docked on the Morris River right outside this lab here at any given day, supplying uh, oyster shucking houses on both sides of the river, uh, lined up nearly the entire length of the river. It is said that in, in uh, our little town of Port Norris, there, there was, uh, I guess, more millionaires in, in a quarter of a mile than anywhere else compared that you could compare to anywhere in the country, and all because of the oyster industry. Um, the industry has gone through two major transitions that, that are important. Uh, the first one was in the late 1950s, roughly 1957, when a disease called MSX first appeared in the Bay. Now, this is a disease that doesn't affect people, doesn't, doesn't hurt, affect human consumption, but it kills oysters very effectively. Over the next uh, decade, uh, the oysters developed a degree of resistance to MSX, um, and the fishery was able to recover, uh, not necessarily to its glory year levels of the 1920s. We used to have trains, or there was rails that, on the other side of these shipping uh, sheds and that uh, would uh, transport our oysters from the, uh, all of the packing houses and uh, shippers. Uh, in 1985, there was a major drought. It generated a huge uh, MSX epizootic, which is a, 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 an epidemic. I remember we, uh, I would say back in the 60s, we would go out and get 6 to 800 bushels on, on uh, any given day and uh, bring them in and uh, load them off on conveyors and load trucks to go up and down the coast. The bay was beginning to recover from that event 
when a second disease uh, appeared in the bay. This disease is called dermo. And once again, dermo is not a disease that causes problems for humans. It's strictly a disease that kills oysters. But dermo is a global warming disease. It's been moving up the coast uh, as the, as the mid-Atlantic bite has warmed. Uh, it got into Delaware Bay in roughly 1990. And the result of Dermo was effectively to put the industry out of business for a period of time. So uh, for all practical purposes, uh, the fishery ceased to exist from roughly 1986 until roughly 1995. And you can see the economic uh, effects of that uh, around the Bay Shore is pretty dramatic. Hopefully the industry is coming back because we're seeing now oysters that I haven't seen and I've been around this river for a long time. Uh, I, I, I'm seeing oysters on those beds that are, that are that producing oysters of a size that I haven't seen for at least 50, 55 years. Um, the lab here and the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection uh, developed a new approach to, to running the oyster fishery and managing the oyster fishery in 1996. And that new approach in, it involves taking animals uh, directly off what used to be the oyster seed beds, which are areas up bay, which continue to um, uh, provide habitat for oysters because there's somewhat lower salinity and, and so our, the mortality rates from uh, diseases like MSX and Dermo are somewhat less. And that, that fishery, which we call a direct market fishery, began in 1996 and has continued since then. It has an economic impact regionally in the neighborhood of uh, 18 or so million dollars. And if you look at the, at the Bay Shore economy as a whole, that once again makes it an important industry because there are not so many ways to make money along the Bay Shore. The New Jersey oyster is really a preferred oyster for a lot of chefs, so you know we're excited about being able to use it in our beer. Now when somebody asks you that, you're from Jersey, yeah, what exit? Oyster Stout. That's great.